actually. Well, warmed up enough I can do the valve adjustment on the engine, so I'll get to work here pulling that off in the valve cover and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the uh, bolts or this U bolt uh, clamp off of here. I've, it looks like it would interfere with the valve cover coming up, so. transmission in third gear and just let it idle with the torque converter engaged you know just uh, torque converter oil warmed up and that helps to warm up the uh, engine oil too and the engine coolant that should be ready to come off of there I've never had this in been into this engine before so I don't know That's a cast iron valve cover. You don't see those very often. That dude's heavy. And we might have got lucky on the gasket. We might be able just to put some sealer on that and put her back on. It wasn't leaking at all, so. But anyway, now we need to find number one top dead center on the, the balancer has a mark on it. And the timing pin, I see the mark, I need to go ahead and mark that while I'm seeing it. Should be pretty simple valve adjustment. They're all set at 12, I believe. And they're probably not far off the way they feel. But. On the top center, and there's a pointer on the front of the engine here. Um, and there's a mark on the balancer. You spin that around until you see... Uh, I think it says TC, top center. Uh, I believe that's it. It's on valve timing. It's not that critical if you're within, you know, 10 degrees, 20 degrees. You're not going to affect anything. I don't believe. But then we'll check and we'll see which valves are loose. Uh, on number one is usually at the front. Number four is at the back. Number four is actually loose. So we'll start with number uh, the setting in the book shows we can set four of the valves at this setting and then we turn the engine one turn and then we'll be on top center number one we'll set the other half of the valve so let me get the paper and i'll show you what i'm talking about okay so here's the information i have for the the four cylinder engines this is the front of the engine and this is it says with piston at number four tdc we're going to set the valve on that would be the third valve and then six, seven, and eight. And then when we flip it over to one, we're going to do the first valve, the second valve, and four and five. And uh, so there's where we're starting out, we're on number four TDC, so we can set three, six, and seven, and eight. Uh, they're calling for a 12. That one is pretty close. Let's see if a 14 will go. 14 will, yeah, that's a little loose. 14 will squeeze in there. So. And uh, we'll put our feeder gauge. A lot of times when I do this, I like to take the feeder plumb out of the holder. To me, it just makes it easier. 
Um, and since we're just doing one size feeder gauge, it makes it even easier. So, so we got our number 12, which is a 0 .305 millimeter. And we'll set that in place and uh, snug it up until we're just dragging. Yeah. You can kind of see the feeder gauge move a little bit there. That's about where we want it, just touching. Now when we tighten this set screw, it'll probably... Generally, they loosen just a smidge, but you just want a light drag on there. Okay, so we got number three. We're going to go back to six, seven, and eight. So this is number six. And she's way loose. Screwdriver down. Be sure and tighten your lock nuts so they don't back off. There's a torque spec for those. I think it's uh, 35 pounds or something like it. 367. Number 7 is awful loose too. This engine runs really smooth. It sounds really good, so I don't know. What the difference will be once we set this, probably not much. Although it may, it'll probably run a little more efficient. Um, valves will be opening a little bit quicker on the loose ones. And shutting quicker. Or, it'll be opening farther. And timing wise, it'll be a little bit different too, but. All right, now. On a six cylinder engine, I normally mark the ones I've set just to be sure I don't miss one, but. We're only dealing with eight here, so. This is a pretty simple job. Okay, so we got half of them set. I'll spin the engine over to the next timing mark. Okay, now we should be on number one top dead center. That means these two should be loose. And the back ones are not. So now we can set numbers one, two, four, and five. So that's where we're going next here. And these are looking pretty loose. I mean, really loose. It looks to me like somebody has replaced his head at some point. I don't know when. I don't have any information on that, but. There's one, two's pretty loose. A lot of people don't ever adjust the valves on their engines. It's um, it's a good idea to check them once in a while, though. But since I don't know a whole lot about this engine at all, I mean, don't know who's been into it. I don't know what they did when they were into it. They may have put the head on it. Um, and not set the valves right when they did that, I don't know. You just don't ever know. That one there is trying to be difficult.
But this is easy job. A lot of people could handle this if they tried it. Okay, that one there for some reason. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and that's not the right one. I do one, two, four, and five. So this is our next one here. And it's loose. It's really loose. That was one, two, four, and then number five valve. I note I'm not talking about cylinders here, and this one's actually too tight, which is odd. I mean, they just seem to be random uh, the way they were adjusted, so. And then a bad spot there. wasn't real tight just a little bit it still had some clearance but you sure don't want them running with no clearance it'll burn the valve seats up yep so we just adjusted the valves on a DT239 International, Farmall, whatever you want to call it. I'll have to kind of mop the oil up around there and then put some sealer on the gaskets, put the head uh, valve cover back on it, and uh, at least I will know where they're set at, whether they're right or wrong. Um, a lot of engines, they'll set the exhaust valves at like a 22 and the intake's at 11. That's what a lot of six cylinder diesels use, but that's usually a cold setting. Now, when your exhaust valve gets hot, it gets longer. So if you're setting them hot, you could probably get away with a little tighter settings on it. Ideally, when they're set right, there's very little clearance when they're running. So that's that. Got the gasket surface cleaned up. And I'll just put some silicone on there and we'll hope it le uh, we'll hope it doesn't leak. We'll hope it leaks. So that's that. Alright, there we go.